Hello, my name is Salvatore Corona, Environmental Solution Executive with Bentley Systems. And what we're going to be looking at in this presentation are the concepts behind the creation of this log report. This report is special. It's got two different uh, boreholes on the same report, the left side being a CPT log and the two right columns here, the graphic column and material description, from a sampled borehole which was nearby the CPT. This is a, a common practice when you're doing CPT investigations you want to check your um, correlations with your CPT data to a sampled borehole with uh, lab and field tests that you run on the sampled borehole. So it's advantageous to have them both on one page and of course you can add as many columns from the sample borehole as you want so you might want to have your CPT uh, blow count data, your unconfined compressive strength data, your Atterberg limits, whatever you'd like. You can add as many columns as you wish. So let's look at to see how this was done. And again we're going to open up the project and under the CPT tab we've added a column called sample borehole associated with CPT. You, uh, you put in the name of the borehole that was nearby and in the report design we use that field in creating uh, uh, these two entities, the graphic column and the uh, material description column. Let's take a look at the graphic column. Under the configuration tab, you'll, you'll find a foreign point ID expression. This tells the program that all expressions on this, in this entity will take their data from not the primary borehole that was specified at output time, but from this foreign borehole. And the expression is the name of the field that I just pointed out earlier in the CPT table. Look there first. We have a first data function. It says look in this field first for the name of the borehole. If, if that's empty, just use the current borehole. So if you leave that field blank on a CPT log using this form, it will look to the material description graphic column and material description uh, fields for the um, uh, CPT hole. And this property exists under the configuration tab for all uh, entities within uh, log reports. So you could add plot versus depth uh, in the header or footer. You could put information related to the sample borehole instead of the CPT hole. And looking at the material description, we have the same property here and the same expression. Uh, also within the column header, uh, what we do is we uh, check uh, to see, um, we will insert what the name of the borehole is here. And what we're doing here, we're checking if this column is actually taking data from the CPT hole, then we're going to put in interpreted soil description. Otherwise, we're going to put a material description from the foreign point ID. All right. And again, that can be done for as many uh, entities as you wish. So you can have stuff from the CPT hole and uh, entities from the CPT hole uh, do not have that property. It is empty. And there's nothing to stop you from adding multiple foreign point IDs. Uh, so you would replicate uh, your columns that you're taking from other boreholes as many times as you wish. You just change which borehole it comes from. And you do that by adding more columns in that CPT table that I showed you earlier. It'd be you know, sample borehole one, sample borehole two, sample, as many as you'd like. And then when we go to output, pick the CPT hole, and preview, and there we have the graphic column and material description from B1. Now you can get examples of, uh, of, of this uh, log form from our website. You may already have it 
if you've uh, gotten our standard files from the uh, US or Canada in the last couple of years at least uh, then you will have these already so check if you don't and you want to play with that you can go to the website under help go to internet links and the GINT V8i web page by the way if you've not been here I would recommend uh, coming up here there's a lot of uh, content free content there are e-seminars that you can play back and uh, case studies etc um, we're going to go to communities now again a very useful page we do have a forum here which you're you're free to add comments and respond to anyone else's comments and then we're going to go to wiki which has a tremendous amount of content, uh, various, lots of different forms and examples, symbols, uh, get rules, all kinds of things. And then we're going to go to downloads, and then to our standard reports. These are the uh, files that we ship with all new installations, and you get to pick uh, which ones you'd like. So either one of the two U.S. Uh, sets of files or the Canadian. If you want to work in metric, it's there. Download those and any one of those, and you can uh, uh, play with that form if you wish. All right. Thank you very much.